Hey guys, Tat here. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Alright, so what we got going on here in this episode is this is part two of our Ambriel questline playthrough, which is part of our followers with questlines series. So in the last episode we met up with the courier that starts off the mod and she gave us a a note sent by somebody named Nerafim. Nerfin to go and meet up so we went and met him at um, Valthum or something like that and with a bunch of other bounty hunters and he basically explained that they're looking for this woman Ambriel and blah 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 um, you accept this you accept his mission or whatever and he teleports you he teleported us close to Winterhold and we had a quest marker for a house that was right there near Winterhold, so we went over there, and that was Ambriel's house. So we went in there, and we talked with Ambriel. We learned a little bit about who she is, her past, and things like that, and then she wants us to go now to um, Winterhold to meet up with somebody named um, Sanctuaria or something like that. So, yeah, the last episode, we got a, a couple of the missions done, and then this episode here, I don't want to give any spoilers away or anything in case anybody hasn't played the mod or seen a playthrough of it, but we get a couple more of the missions done within the quest line. So um, we're just trucking right along. Uh, I hope you enjoy this, so go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. All right, roll the intro. Hey guys, welcome back to part two here now of our Ambriel, the follower Ambriel's quest playthrough. Um, the last episode we met up with the Lord, what was it, Nerafim, Nerafin, something like that, and he hired basically a whole bunch of bounty hunters to find this Ambriel and not to kill her or do anything, but just to observe her and then report back to him. So we did that. <clears throat> then he teleported us and landed us right on a a, a bear. <laughs> we had to kill the bear. And it was right next to a house that is Ambriel's house, which is very close to um, the College of Winterhold. And that's the town of Winterhold. And we went in there. We met her. Got a little bit of her backstory. Um... We also found, what did we see? We found a, a letter or something about some kind of amulet that we need to go find with her. And then Ambriel wants to go talk to some Sancturia or Sanctuaria or something like that that's up at the college, some sorceress. So um, we're just going to go ahead and just jump right into this and continue along. So I guess now we're going to the college with her. So we've taken her as, as our follower now. We didn't really have to do too much to do that. So I'm not really sure what the rest of the quest line is going to be if it's not to gain her as your follower, if she's already your follower. I guess it's t for her to, like, I don't know, unlock her past or so we can learn about her past or to get rid of this Lord Nerfin or or whatever it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a, a hard save here. I've become, um, Please, let's see, any, take this as a gift. I want you to have it. the magical gathering. Any thoughts? A hot meal, a comfortable bed, and a warm fire. <sighs> but it seems in these times, they're already a luxury. Okay. Relax. We are safe here. What do you know about this place? My it's her house. house? Well, <laughs> I spend a lot of time here in Winterhold. I lost almost everything after my mother's death. My governess bequeathed me this house many years ago. Neither the Thalmor nor the Daedra are capable to enter or find this house. There are special wards protecting the walls. Oh, so that's with all that green. A nice rain would suit me well, too. Uh, are you trying to imply something there? You want me to give you a ring? You're kind of, um... 
demanding there. You may relax if the situation allows it. I would like to trade with you. Can you hold on to these things? Okay, Ambriel, please do me a favor. Uh, you have something f to do for me. Please wait here. From here, our paths separate. How do you feel? Is everything all right with you? I'm fine, but a bit tired. No reason to worry, though. Uh, well, I told you in the last episode to go to sleep. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and, and get going here. Um... Go to the college. It's just right there and find this Sancturia or whatever the heck her name is. There's some really weird names. Um, and find out exactly what this quest is going to be about if we already have her. Quite chilly, is it not? Well, then again, this is Skyrim. So I guess chilly would be an understatement. Well, there's a big fire right here. Who is this dude? Is that a vampire? My name is Ambriel. What can I do for you? Fine, Smear, this will not end well. Maybe you can help me. Thar Playa? <laughs> I can't follow you. You already have someone with you. I saw you do that, you know. It can't be helped. Serana? You are right. Saruna? <laughs> so you have Saruna and Thar Playa. <laughs> nice names. So yeah, that's a knockoff of Serana. Whoa, dude just disappeared. Chick just disappeared. I like your uh, now you want a circlet. You wanted a ring and a circlet. Um, you are like typical little princess. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, look. It's snowing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's around here? What the fuck is that? Oh, vampires. I don't want to hit this ghost saber cat. Where, where is this master vampire at? Over this way? Who are you? Why can't I get anything on... Okay, so you're attacking me, so obviously... There's something over here. Maybe not. Why is that chicken aggroed? I better not get a bounty because a stupid chicken is aggroed. I, I, that's one thing I've always been like, very like, not liking about this game is the fact that when things attack like this in towns, it's very hard to actually defeat the enemies. Well, oh, there's two master vampires. Because if you hit anybody in the town with any kind of a stray thing or anything, or you could be, you know, shooting an arrow like if he was a vampire or something, shooting it right at him, and, and some guard will step right in your way right as you're shooting, and you'll get a bounty and they'll all start attacking you. It's like, it's very hard to actually defend the city and do anything when, um, all the townsfolk and the the guards and everything are all like right in your face and like this I'm surprised I didn't get a bounty because wherever this it's chicken is at a, a chicken will get aggroed <laughs> you know just because the chicken is aggroed you'll get a bounty it's like uh, I just prefer not to do any kind of fighting in towns at all unless I'm playing a character that just doesn't give a flying one and just will kill anybody and doesn't care about bounties or anything then yeah I'll just I'll just kill everything in the town I don't care but yeah you're trying to keep your NPCs alive like your blacksmiths and everything else and it's just uh, it's, it's it wasn't implemented very well in the game I believe I've made at least my opinion um, let's see we go in here so yeah I usually just let like my followers and everything else do the fighting in towns unless NPCs that I want to keep alive die then I just restart from an autosave or something and try to keep them alive but I know there's mods out there where um the townsfolk will actually go into their into their houses if a dragon or vampires attack so they're not like trying to to defeat master vampires with like their broomsticks and stupid shit like that 
Uh, okay. Who are you? Oh, Sancturia. As long as the Emperor of Tamria lives, there is no need for me to become Empress. Perhaps the prophecy is wrong in this part. Oh, you're just blabbing. Yes, my lady. Hello, I heard you have information regarding Ambriel. Yes, the time has come. The signs are very clear. What signs? I have begged and pleaded to you hundreds of times to tell me more about my destiny. Be patient, my princess. It's time I tell you and your friend more about you. Dova King, in order to help Ambriel, you have to go through many difficult situations. Are you ready for it? But of course. No, not at the moment. I will come back later. Yes, what can you tell me about Ambriel and that prophecy? As far as I know, everything began 500 years ago when Ambriel was born. The forces of evil started a final battle to conquer our world. The instruments of this evil, the Daedra Princes, tried to banish the human race in order to weaken the Nine Divines. Somehow, they misused the Elves and the Aldmeri Dominion for their purposes. Talos saw the menace and helped the Empire many times. In his wisdom, he gave part of his power to protect Ambriel when she was born. He conspired with Ambriel's father, Pelagius, and her mother. The only way to transfer Talos's power to Ambriel was to transfer it through the Emperor's mind. He knew very well it would not leave him sane. But that was the only way to keep it a secret. A direct intervention would have triggered a war between the Nine and the Daedra, destroying our universe. <laughs> okay. So that's why Pelagius went a little cuckoo, according to, you know, this story. I understand, but why is Ambriel so important to the Thalmor? Ambriel's destiny is to rule the humans and the elves and bring peace to Tamriel. She is a septum and combines both races. That is the prophecy. The Daedra would lose their influence on the Aldmeri and the elves. But if they succeed, the consequences would be catastrophic. You mean Ambriel would die? Don't you understand? That is only one of the consequences. Talos is weakened, and the ban on his worship only weakens him further. Without any power, Talos will disappear, and the balance between good and evil will be destroyed, and the Nine will fall. That would spell the end for us all. Talk to Ambriel about the prophecy. Um, you have got a nice amulet. N now you want an amulet. So you want a ring, a circlet, and an amulet. Uh, do you want the clothes off my back too? <laughs> my princess, I found that note. Okay, we already did that. Now I understand a lot more. What do you think? You may... Okay, so... It's frightening. Talos gave parts of his power, and now he is vulnerable. He's almost human again. My father and mother, they went through these sacrifices to protect me. This is a great responsibility on my shoulders. I don't know if I can handle it. Will you still help me? Will you pay me? <laughs> I will follow you without a doubt. We have to find a way to stop the Daedra. Oh, thank you. Maybe together we can bring back peace to Tamriel. Perhaps Sancturia has got an idea of where we can start. That's a pretty tall order, bring peace right now during a civil war. Ask the sorceress for more information. My lady? We are a bit perplexed. Where should we begin? Talk to Talos. Oh. I had a vision. Oh, just talk to Talos, you know. temple at Windhelm. It was at night. Go find him at night in his temple. Thank you. Thank you for all you have done. She didn't even do anything. Just go and be quick. Protect Ambriel. Her future lies in your hands now. Oh. 
And one additional information I have. Oh, I hear a sword. Oh, homie dude. Okay, we don't attack. Yeah, I'll invade your personal space too. See? I can do it too. You invade my bubble. This dude thinks he's Darth Vader or something. Talk to Ambrail about the mysterious person. Yes? Uh, she is gone. He took her with him. Do you know this person? Yes, Lord Nerfin. I thought he died after the last battle against the Almeri Dominion. He commanded the army which had occupied the Imperial capital. Nerfin was kept alive for 33 days, hanging from the White Gold Tower. One source claims he was carried off by a winged Daedra on the 34th day. And now he is back. I think we will see him again. I fear that you're right. Let's go to Windhelm. I hope Sanctuario was right, and we'll find Talos. I have already met Nerefin at the ruins of Valthum. He has hired bounty hunters. Bounty hunters? Bah, the cowardly methods of the Dominions and their attempts to kill me. Ugh. The hunters got the order just to supply Lord Nerefin... I won't even call him Lord. I'll just call him Nerefin. How's that? He's not my Lord. The hunters go to... Got the order to disapply Nerefin with information about you. Strange. It seems to me something has changed. But tell me, you have been there. Does that mean you have accepted Nerefin's order? No, I would never work for a person like that or the Thalmor. Yes, but I did not know what... That would mean the contract is terminated. I would never work with Thalmor. I'm glad that you have decided to reject. But we must be careful regarding the other bounty hunters. Let's talk further later. For now, we have to travel to Windhelm. Well, let's go to Windhelm. Meet Talos during the night at his temple. Okay. But yeah, he's a Thalmor POS, so I he ain't gonna call him Lord. He's just Nerefin. He's lucky I'll even call him his name. I can't stand the damn Thalmor. Okay, so let's go to Windhelm. It's got to be at night. Both her and that Sancturia girl's lady, whatever, said at night. So, Windhelm. And, of course, I haven't been there yet. Um... Oh, let me save here real quick. Yeah, what I was saying before when at the beginning here, and I got solely sidetracked, is <clears throat> ever since I've been getting into the modding of the game and stuff like that, I've gotten pretty like anal about um, saving quite often because even though I have safety load on that's supposed to prevent it from crashing during fast travels and loading screens and getting the infinite um, screen, it still happens once in a while, so I don't want that, you know, to happen during a, a let's play like this and then have the last save, you know, 10 minutes ago or something. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a spell to get there rather than traveling to a carriage and then using the carriage to fast travel to Windhelm. And I'm just going to... Why didn't that work? Oh, it's still charging. So this doesn't just drag on long, long, long. We'll just use a spell to get there. The spell comes from um, Fendrix Magic Evolved. It's got like five different cities that you can teleport to. Solitude, Windhelm, um, Markarth, Whiterun, Riften. Where, what the heck? Oh. Oh, I'm over here by the graveyard. Now the question is where is she at? Because that wasn't really a fast travel. So I don't know if that pulled her with us. Okay, I unlocked it, so I'm going to go. I don't see her anywhere. Oh, there she is. It did pull her. I was just going to fast travel here, and that would have pulled her here, but... Um, oh, there it is. Temple of Talos. I, out of all my hours of playing this game, I've never been in this temple before. There's a lot I have never been to. Please, let us wait. 
Talos is our only hope. I'm sure he will speak with us. Oh, you're supposed to do it at night. Oh, man, it's only 6 o'clock in the morning. I guess we're waiting. Let's just park our our rear ends here and relax a bit. You said Please, you were tired. Let us wait. Yeah, yeah. Talos is our only hope. Why don't you take a nap? You said you were tired. So, let's see. That's 6, 7, 8, 9, 12. That'll take it just a little bit after midnight. Usually nighttime, I think in this game, is 7 o'clock at night is when night starts. I don't know. It's something like that, 7 or 8. But we'll just do midnight just to be careful or be on the safe side so we don't have to go through another time advance here. I'm sure he will speak with us. It's wait, oh, wait until midnight. I hope we didn't come here for nothing. Well, sit down. Oh, there he is. By all the gods. Talos, She's overjoyed. Affection plus really eight. Here. I can hardly believe it. Plus eight. Little by little, I thought everything is a dream. Believe it, my dear princess. You are not dreaming. The prophecy is a reality. And I assure you, it is me, your ancestor, Tiber Septum. A long journey lies before you. But now you know the truth about your father and your mother. Now you are here to find out how to defeat the threat caused by the Daedra. Yes, my friend and I, we have decided to free the elves. We want to break the influence of the Daedra. But we need your guidance. How should we proceed? Lord Nerefin is alive, and he has kidnapped Sancturia. Yes, I know. He sold his soul to Sithis a long time ago. And now the evil itself wants to force a decision. Evil itself? You believe the Daedra are not solely responsible? It is the eternal battle between good and evil. The nature of good is to create life and preserve it. The nature of evil is the opposite. Destruction. We have arrived at a critical point. Rules have been violated. And I'm afraid I'm not entirely innocent. As the evil intervened directly for the first time, I was also tempted to do this. It was the moment when I gave you your immortality. All evil is represented by Sithis, a manifestation of the dark side since the beginning of time. But beware, you cannot defeat Sithis. We can only set new barriers to protect the world. Alduin's appearance, the civil war, the ban of my worship, everything to make it easier for the Daedra to conquer Tapriel. How can we know the plans Daedra have? I think they will continue to pursue their objectives quickly. Now it's your turn, Dragonborn. There exists an Elder Scroll which is capable of showing the past, the present, and the future. Lord Narfine also wants to acquire the Elder Scroll. I will show you the location on your map. Get the scroll and return to me. <laughs> My character doesn't even stand up for a quote-unquote god. <laughs> she just stays sitting down like, eh, you're nobody. <laughs> Find the owner of the scroll at Moldering Runes. As long as the war continues, Skyrim will always be an unsafe place. Well, a good place for everybody with bad intentions. Also, she supposedly has, um... I like temples. Peace and security. As long as war is regarded She's as supposed to have a diary and stuff that she updates. When it is looked upon I guess that's what that thing is that keeps popping up, like her affection level popular. raises and lowers. A um, nice ring would suit me well too. Yeah, I know. You want a bunch of jewelry, princess. What's on your mind? Wow. Talos. It's amazing that we were able to meet him. With the god on our side... Nothing can possibly go wrong. Let's go get the scroll. Yes? Um. Let's 
So I guess I'd like to trade some Ooh, things with I you. Hope it's jewelry. Yeah. Shiny trinkets are <laughs> princess's best friend. Yeah, princess loves the jewelry. Let's see here. Ambriel's armor, Ambriel's boots, Am uh, there's Ambriel's diary, Ambriel's emotions, Ambriel's gauntlets, Elven arrows, Elven bow of thunderbolts, Elven sword of leeching, gold, and potion of vigorous well-being. Okay, so what's this emotions? Ambriel's emotions. Remember a companion and even an immortal princess has feelings. Actual appraisal. Emotional state level is 7. If it drops below minus 30, she will be too exhausted and chipped emotionally to follow you. Nice experiences lift her mood. Bad experiences will reduce it. Okay, so we're at 7. So at least we're above 0. you got to get to minus 30. Um, let's see here. Ambriel's diary. This is diary entry number 12, or as far as I can remember, I haven't written an entry in a long time. It seems now I have lost my sense of time. Somehow time has become meaningless to me. I'm been, I've been now, I'm been now, I've now been in Winterhold for weeks, months, maybe even years. I've wandered about this land through and through about a hundred times now. But it seems again and again I am drawn back to Winterhold. Last week, though, I had a strange dream. I saw a vision of my mother telling me to stay here in Winterhold and wait. But what or whom should I wait for? Five days have passed since my last entry. Fortunately, the people here in Winterhold are not as hostile to elves as the people in Windhelm are. It seems the residents here have accepted me and my Thalmor disguise. I find myself often in the frozen hearth, studying the people who come and go. Ranmir is a poor man. He doesn't speak often. Instead, he drinks many times more. Once he looked at me and said I looked like a warrioress he met when he was a young boy, many years ago. He questioned if I was her daughter. It was better not to carry on the conversation. So it was, it was her. But he was right. I had met him 26 years ago, after the last battle between the Empire and the Thalmor. I had traveled to Winterhold, and he had seen And he had seen land at the nearby coast. A very sudden and new development has just occurred. I have met with Talia, and she asked me to follow, promising aid in mission. It seems Talos himself has sent her to me. For some reason, I have a strange feeling about her, as someone I can really trust. Perhaps after all this years, these years, I ramble. We shall see what shall come of this. We must go to the College of Winterhold in order to speak with Sancturia. I hope Talia can assist me in what's to come. And that's it. So that must have been, the last part must have been what she was writing down in her cabin there. This <laughs> is like speed reading or whatever the heck it was. Okay, so what else do we got here? Do me a favor from here, Pastor. How do you feel? Is everything all right with you? Everything is fine. I'm wide awake. Well, I'm glad you're wide awake. Okay. Let's see. A light in the darkness. Find the owner of the scroll at Moldering Runes. Where in the hell is Moldering Runes? Talk to Ambriel about the amulet. We still got to do that. Maybe if you find. Because it's an amulet. Maybe there is an Ambriel's... Well, there's an Ambriel's amulet. But maybe there's an Ambriel's circlet and an Ambriel's ring. And then you give her those things and she'll stop like Im implying that, oh, I, I, that's a nice ring and that's a nice circlet and that's a nice this and that's a nice that. In other words, give me some stuff. I'm a little princess. Give me, give me. Okay, so where is this moldering whatever... I'm not seeing an arrow pop up here. Oh, way over here. <clears throat> Find the owner at the Moldering Runes. So we're going to have a ride here. I guess we should probably start... Maybe here, because there won't be so many mountains to go through. Over here, we're going to have to go over mountains. And maybe have to go around... 
<clears throat> yeah, we'll start over here. That's not a very long ride. I don't know if she gets on horses or not. I have convenient horses installed, but it's... Hey. Well, hey. <clears throat> I also have amazing follower tweaks, and it's not giving me the, um, the AFT Hi. dialogue things here. Like she's a normal follower. So I don't know if um, convenient horses will give her. Because I have convenient horses set. Whoa, that's one of the. Yes, that's one of those bounty hunters. I recognize that armor. Whoa, where are you going, dude? Get back over here. I need to talk to you. It's not letting me talk to him. I guess he's not attacking because they're only supposed to observe. He wasn't. I'm a bit tired. He wasn't very subtle, was he? But yeah, um, I don't know if convenient horse is going to give her a ride, but let's just go over there and see if it will. Otherwise, she's going to have to run. I'm not going to run with her. She can run. I'm going to ride a horse. <laughs> I don't care if she is a princess. Um, she can run. She looks a little bit tired so she well she said she's tired so maybe a good brisk run in the the cool Skyrim air will wake her up hey that dude what the hell man I'm about right you know what you're getting fucked up there I'm gonna keep you on your ass you don't want to talk I'm gonna keep slamming you down to your ass Um, dwarven armor, dwarven arrow, dwarven boots, dwarven, 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 dwarven. Yeah, this guy likes his dwarven stuff. You can keep your shit. I'm just going to take your gold. What? Oh, that's her. She's got like this big ass saber cat ghost. That's a very big one too. <laughs> okay. And of course, my horse didn't seem to travel here. Um... I was gonna say she's gonna ride the saber cat, but look, so she gets some kind of a ghost horse. What a nice weather! I love the on the back of a horse traveling through the world. That is freedom. It is kind of freedom, isn't it? Okay, well, are you gonna ride that horse, or is it just there for pretty? Well, you figure it out, chick. I'm not your babysitter. You're a grown woman. You're 500 years old. I think you can figure out how to get on your horse. But yeah, we're getting pretty cl Well, we just passed the half hour mark. I like to keep my episodes at a half hour long. So what we're going to do is we'll get to the um, to the place we're supposed to go to. And I'll save there. And then we'll head on into this these ruins here on the next episode and find out what's going on with this Elder Scroll. So I guess we got to pick up another Elder Scroll. Look, it's it's pretty close to um, Rorikstead. Maybe I should turn up the, the stamina on my horse, too. I, I usually play with Frostfall and all that stuff enabled so for all the immersion. So I usually don't put up stamina on my horse. I like to keep his things like as realistic as, as I can. But I turn all this stuff off for these episodes because we don't need to be like having to stop and camp and, and do all that stuff on these. It's, this is just playthroughs of these um, quest lines for these followers. I'll probably do a playthrough of like a survivalist. What? Saber cat. Frost, don't go jumping off and kill yourself and kill me. Oh, where are we at here? Here I was saying we should go to this that one over there so that we don't have to cross over mountains. And we're having to cross over. Well, these aren't really mountains, but. Can I get up there or not? Well, this is Skyrim, and when you have a horse, you can run up a vertical wall pretty much, so I don't think it's much of a problem. 
the horses in Skyrim, man, they, they can pretty much fly almost. They can like they really can. They can go like up a, almost a sheer vertical wall. Another saber cat. And something tells me there's going to be a fight in here. Some kind of ambush or something. Oh, I know this place. This is a vampire's um, hole. That's It goes underground. It's a vampire's, re like, not a retreat, but a, a hideout for vampires. Okay, yeah, that's what that is. Ah, oh, you stupid death hound. And you... Um, is this a Nord or is this an Imperial? I don't remember what race I made this character. I think it's a Nord. Okay, well, any rate, what we're going to do is, um, like I said, we're going to go ahead and save here and end this episode. And we will pick up the next episode from right here, head on into this thing and see about getting this Elder Scroll and continuing this mission. We went over here a few minutes, but that's fine. Um, again, I appreciate watching. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you on the next episode. Well, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button, and also consider hitting that subscribe button. Again, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in future episodes.